If you're here at this stage, you will have known how to make an emissive material, but it's still looking a bit dull. We could go further with it. We can bump up the strength using nodes, and I'll show you how to do that now, quickly. Quickly, quickly. So now that we understand instancing, which is an important thing to cover, let's get cool with this emissive material. So yeah, you can see you've got some reflection. It's coming up in the reflections. That's really nice. It's not illuminating the scene at all, though. We want this to be acting as a light itself, you know? So. In our main material, before the instance, let's do a little bit of node work. Nothing too crazy. Um, so in here we want a constant and we want a multiply. Let's put, pop that in there. Control drag this one in here and chuck that in the emissive color. Now, boom, we've got a slider that controls how emissive it is. And you can see this has unlocked so much more potential. There's Let's put it up to what, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's make it 15. Yeah, that's quite nice because we got oh, because we got yeah stuff going around it. But obviously, this is stuff you wanna you wanna tweak. You wanna be hitting that control S, hitting that save and apply to keep track of what you're doing here. Okay, so yeah, emissive now showing up in these reflections quite nicely. Yeah, that emissive will now show up in reflections, but we can do some extra steps to take these emissives to the next level and use them to our advantage. So, catch me in that one. Cheers.